Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to teach you the third division strategy that we'll be doing in class. It's called the forgiving method. This is the closest related one to long division like the way that your parents learned. So let's start with a story problem. I have 203 basketballs that I need to clean up. I have seven containers to put them in. How many basketballs will be in each container if I put them in an equal if I put an equal amount in each container. So I've got 203 divided by 7. So I have my array here to show this is 203, the total number of basketballs. I know one dimension is 7. I don't know what the other one is. Since multiplication and division are inverse operations, I always like to think about how I can make this a multiplication sentence. So 7 times something, I don't know what it is yet, is going to equal 203. So now I'm going to show you how to do the forgiving method and keep in mind that whatever my answer is times 7 is going to be 203. So I'm going to start with putting the word groups over here and then I'm going to draw a line down the back of the division sign. So I've got my divisor is my 7, that's on the outside. My dividend is 203, that's the number we're dividing, that's on the inside. So just like when we did using multiplication, I always like to start with groups of 10 because it's an easy number to multiply. So 7 times 10 is going to be 70, so I multiplied that. So now I've, I've put uh, 7 balls in 10 groups each, so that's 70. Now I subtract, so 3 minus 0, 3. 0 take away 7, can't do it. i got to borrow 1 from the hundreds place, make that a 1. So now 10 minus 7 equals 3 and then 1 take away nothing equals 1. 133, can I do another group of 10? If I'm putting 7 in each, yes I can, because 133 is less than, is 70 is less than 133. So here's my 70 balls that I just got in 10 more containers. Now I'm going to subtract 3 take away 0, 3. And I've got 3 take away 7, can't do it borrow from this hundreds place. So now I've got 13 take away 7 equals 6. So now I've got 63. Alright, so some of you might be thinking, I know 7 times blank equals 63. Um, let's say you're not sure. A good, good strategy is to try 5. We know that it has to be, the answer has to be less than 70, whatever we're timesing. So 5 is a safe bet here because 5 times 7 is 35. So I put my 35, then I subtract, so 3, take away 5, can't do it, got a bar from the 6 and the 10's place, make that a 5, 3, take away 5, equals 8, 5, take away 3, equals 2, ooh, 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 I know, 7 times 4 equals 28, so then I put my 28 here, and then I subtract, 28 take away 28 equals 0, Awesome, so this number right here, this zero, that would be our remainder. So we don't have a remainder this time. It does work out evenly. So how do we figure out the answer? Well, we have to add up what we got here. So I like to put the tens together, and then I like to put the ones together. All right, so I'm going to put my tens together. So I've got 10 and 10, that's 20. I've got my 5 and 4, that equals 9. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my 20 and my 9 together, and I have 29. So my answer is 203 divided by 7 equals 29. So let's check our work. Let's go into the dual display for this one. So since I've got my answer is 29, that means that 29 is that missing factor from before. So 29 would be up here. So let's see if it works. 29, and if I times it by the other dimension, times 7 oops, is going to equal 203. So let's see if it works out. If it works out, I know I have the right answer. So I'm going to break my 29 into 20 and 9. So 20 times 7 equals 140. And then I've got 9 times 7 is 63. 3 plus 0 equals 3, 4 plus 6 equals 10, put my 0, carry my 1, 203, that means I got the right answer. So let's try another one. 
get off this back to single. So I've got my groups written on one side. I'm drawing a line down here. We're going to start with 10. Now this is a bigger number, so I might decide to try a bigger number. Um, I can do groups of 10 and I can subtract 60 each time, or I could start with, say, 20 groups. What would be 20 groups of 10? That would be 120, so that would work. Alright, so now I've got my 254 minus 120. So 4 take away 0, 4, 5 take away 2, 3, and 2 take away 1. That is not a good looking 3 at all. 134. So now I've got 134, and I just did 20 groups was 120, so why don't I do another 20 groups, because 120 is less than 34. So let me try 120 take away, take away 120 from the 134. So I've got 4 take away 0, 4, 3 take away 1, 1, 0 take away 0, 0. All right, so now I'm trying to think 6 times what is going to get me close to 14 or exactly? Well, 6, 12, 18. So I can't get exactly um, 14, but I can get pretty darn close by doing 2 groups of 6 because 6 times 2 equals 12. So then I subtract 4, take away 2 is 2, 0, 1, take away 1, 0. So this one, remember we said that this number right here, this is your remainder remainder. And then we're going to figure out our groups here. So I've got 20 and 20 and that is 40. And then I'm going to take my 2 and put that with my 40 and then I have 42. So I've got 42 and I've got a remainder of 2. So how do you check your work if you have a remainder? Well that's what I'm going to show you right now. So let's check over uh, we know that it's a factor times a factor equals a multiple, but we've got that pesky remainder. So what's actually going to happen is we're going to do the 42. We're going to times it by 6, and then we're going to add um, the 2, which is our remainder. But remember, because of order of operations, we have to do the multiplication first. Whoops, wrong way. So now I've got 42 broken down into 40 and 2. So 40 times 6 equals 240. 2 times 6 equals 12. Add those up. 240 plus 12 is 252. And now I have this remainder. So now I need to add that there. 252 plus my 2 is 254. So look, I got back here, and I wonder if the line will go over. Hmm, pretty close. 254. So I got my answer. That tells me that 42 remainder 2 is the correct answer. So now it's your turn. I want you to answer these practice problems on a piece of paper and there's also some questions on the Google form I mentioned some important vocabulary words that I want you to pick out uh, divisor dividend and um, quotient quotient is your answer um, so those are important words for you to know um, what they mean so go ahead and fill out the Google form and complete the practice problems thanks bye